It was cold, but that didn't deter volunteers from the very important work that must be done after Gasparilla. I know I had to wake up early to do this, but um, I feel like it's worth it in the end if you have, like, you know, a cleaner Tampa Bay. 400 volunteers hit areas of Bayshore Boulevard and Hyde Park Sunday morning to clean up the mess that was left after thousands of people celebrated the Tampa tradition. Volunteers say the cleanup wasn't too bad. Honestly, it's been pretty tame so far. All we've seen was like a lot of chicken thrown on the floor, you know, some fries here and there. Um, lots of beads, lots of beads. But other than that, it's not nothing, nothing too uh, fancy. Some beer bottles here and there, but that's about it. Cleanup efforts actually begin right when the parade is over. Our team and other departments start right away, right after that last flow. They do a big chunk of the cleaning already so that that way they can open up Bayshore Boulevard. Edgar Castro Teo with the City of Tampa's Department of Solid Waste helps organize the cleanup, along with the group Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful. He says it's crucial to get all the trash picked up as soon as possible. The wind can carry them out into the water and could potentially harm wildlife out there. It's a daunting task, but volunteers say the mess that was left after Saturday's parade wasn't as bad as previous years. Who knows, maybe because it was cold and people had their hands in their pockets a little bit more. Um, but we we still have to go down and it all comes down to the end when we get to weigh all of the litter that was picked up by the volunteers. We weigh the garbage, the recycling and the beads to see exactly how much it all adds to all it all adds to at the end. Reporting in Tampa, Justin Matthews, Fox 13 News.